Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Today's question is, can I analyze the case of Bob Barker? Just a reminder, I'm not diagnosing by this video, only speculating about what could be happening in a situation like this. If you enjoyed this video, please like it, subscribe to my channel, and consider supporting me on Patreon. I will put the link to Patreon in the description for this video. First, I will look at the background of Bob Barker, then move to my analysis. Robert William Barker was born on December 12, 1923, in Darrington, Washington. He went by the name Bob. His father was an electrical power foreman, and his mother was a teacher. He had Sioux heritage on his father's side. Bob was one-eighth Sioux. When Bob was six years old, his father fell from a utility pole and died. Bob moved with his mother to Mission, South Dakota, and lived on the Rosebud Indian Reservation. Eight years later, his mother married a tire salesman, and the family moved to Missouri. There, 15-year-old Bob Barker met a woman named Dorothy Jo Gideon. They became romantically involved. Bob graduated from high school and went to college. He earned a degree in economics in 1947. It took him a while because he was interrupted by his service in the United States Navy Reserve during World War II. Two years before earning his degree, Bob married Dorothy Jo. They stayed married until she died of lung cancer in 1981. She was only 57 years old. Bob worked for a radio station as an announcer in Florida before moving to California in 1950. For six years, he hosted a radio show called The Bob Barker Show. In 1956, Bob became the host of a popular game show called Truth or Consequences. He remained in that position until 1975, when the show went off the air. Three years earlier, in 1972, Bob became the host of a show called The Price is Right. The show originally ran from 1956 to 1965. The version that Bob hosted was a revival of that original show. The Price is Right is a daytime television show where contestants try to guess the prices of merchandise. Various consumer products are described in detail as part of this process. The show is clever in the sense that it's really a big commercial. So if a person is watching The Price is Right and the show cuts to commercial, the viewer's experience doesn't really change that much. After a 35-year career on The Price is Right, Bob Barker retired in June 2007. The comedic actor Drew Carey took over as the host in October of that year. During his career, Bob Barker never found himself in any real trouble, but he was the target of a few lawsuits. Only two are really noteworthy. In 1994, a former Price is Right model named Diane Parkinson filed a lawsuit accusing Bob of threatening to fire her if she did not have sex with him. Apparently, Bob and Diane had been romantically involved for a couple of years. Bob said it was consensual. Diane later dropped the lawsuit. In 1995, Another model sued Bob, claiming that he fired her because she failed to provide false information to the media regarding the 1994 lawsuit. Again, that's the one filed by Diane Parkinson. Bob countersued for slander, but he lost the lawsuit in 2005. Considering the length of Bob's career, these lawsuits did not really amount to much. They did not indicate any type of pervasive pattern. Bob admitted to having a less-than-professional relationship with Diane Parkinson and was largely able to avoid a public relations disaster. For the most part, Bob Barker stayed free of controversy and was very well regarded by the public. Bob Barker died of natural causes in his home in Hollywood Hills on August 26, 2023. He was 99 years old. Now moving to my analysis. Here are my thoughts on a few areas that stood out to me in this case. Item number one, Bob Barker was a legend of daytime television. He was extremely successful and one of the most recognizable figures in Hollywood. He won 18 Daytime Emmy Awards plus a Lifetime Achievement Award. Time Magazine named Bob Barker the greatest game show host of all time. Bob Barker was the longest running game show host in U.S. history on the longest running game show in U.S. history. During his time as the host of The Price is Right, Bob would often talk to audience members during breaks and after the show. He loved interacting with fans. Bob was repeatedly described as generous, warm, 
and compassionate. He always had a good sense of humor. Bob attributed his popularity to the fact that he never performed as an actor, although he technically did. Bob Barker had a cameo in the 1996 movie Happy Gilmore featuring Adam Sandler. Item number two, Bob was a well-known advocate for animal rights. Starting in 1982, he delivered the same message at the end of each episode of The Price is Right when he said, quote, help control the pet population, have your pet spayed or neutered, unquote. The bulk of Bob Barker's estate will be donated to over 40 nonprofit organizations. Many of the organizations help protect animals. With a last name like Barker, I suppose that Bob had the ideal name for an animal rights supporter. If his last name was something like Skinner, his legacy could have been completely different. Item number three, Bob was mostly healthy throughout his life, but he did have recurring skin cancer. This was almost certainly caused by his fascination with sun tanning. When he was younger, he practically had an addiction to tanning. He would regularly spend hours engaged in the activity. His affinity for tanning can even be connected to his service in the military. According to Bob, he enlisted in the Navy as an aviation cadet during World War II, quote, purely out of vanity, unquote. He saw the recruitment poster featuring a terrific-looking guy with a deep, dark tan and thought to himself, quote, if I am going to war, I want to go to war looking like that guy, unquote. Despite his self-admitted tendency to be vain, Bob stopped using hair dye in 1987, which left him with his signature white hair for the latter part of his career. Item number four, as I mentioned, Bob was involved in a minor scandal regarding one of the Price is Right models named Diane Parkinson. She worked on the show from 1975 to 1993. When looking at the evidence, I think what happened here is that the two were in a consensual romantic relationship. Maybe the couple gave new meaning to the phrase, come on down, you're the next contestant on The Price is Right. This type of activity should not have occurred in a work environment, but it's not really a scandal, in my opinion. Referring to Diane, Bob said, quote, She told me that I had been so straight-laced and that it was time I had a little hanky-panky in my life, and she volunteered the hanky-panky, unquote. Bob claimed that Diane instigated the affair in 1989, but it was just sex. There were no strings attached. There was no romance whatsoever. He never took her to lunch or dinner and never purchased any gifts for her. As I mentioned, Diane eventually dismissed her lawsuit. I guess one could say that Bob won the showcase showdown. Item number five, I think one of the most impressive aspects of Bob Barker was his work ethic. It was nothing short of incredible. Bob spent 19 years on the show, truth or consequences, and could have retired a wealthy man. He said he never thought he would work any job longer than he worked on truth or consequences. A few years before that show ended, Bob was already on The Price is Right. He recorded over 6,000 episodes of that show during his 35-year tenure as host. For millions of viewers, Bob was a steady and reliable figure who introduced them to a variety of consumer goods and educated them about pricing strategies. In an age where so many social media influencers are trying to get famous quickly for doing nothing, Bob Barker proved his value over the course of decades using his talent as a host. He didn't need to dance around and act foolishly. He never tried to shock viewers with impulsive and risky behavior. Bob Barker epitomized the value of being consistent, friendly, calm, and caring. He deployed a range of familiar games that entertained audiences like Pass the Buck, Danger Price, Side by Side, Time is Money, Squeeze Play, Freeze Frame, Temptation, Three Strikes, Gridlock, Walk of Fame, and of course, Plinko. I guess one could say that Bob did give in to temptation and personally engaged in a little squeeze play and side by side, but he never reached three strikes. Therefore, he continued to do the walk of fame. In the end, Bob solidified his place in television history and showcased the power of a great work ethic. Now moving to my final thoughts. Bob Barker, of course, will always be strongly associated with The Price is Right. It is ironic that he died at an age consistent with getting as close to 100 as he could without going over. Bob never imagined he would live as long as he did, but
but he stayed productive the entire time. He made the most out of his life and brought entertainment to many viewers. He tried to make everyone feel as if they just heard the words, it's a brand new car. Those are my thoughts on the case of Bob Barker. Please put any opinions and thoughts in the comment section. They always generate an interesting dialogue. As always, I hope you found my analysis of this topic to be informative. Thanks for watching.